day YouTubers and welcome to this new video. This one's about fixing a drift problem that you may encounter with your Logitech flight yacht system and perhaps other flight yacht systems. I don't know about them but I do know that this can suffer from searching on the internet from a drift problem. It's basically when the left and right of your ailerons and even your pitch is not aligned properly or it goes out of alignment. I had a subscriber on one of my videos recently telling me, telling me about that problem and I've also encountered that problem. I encounter it with this flight yacht system too. I'll show you what I mean here. I'll throttle up so full throttle, I'm just taking off from Congo Airport. Hope this comes across properly on my camera. So we're just rolling down the runway. And already you can start to see that my plane is drifting along the runway to the right. I've got auto rudder enabled so I can correct that by just moving my yoke left to keep on the runway but you can see it really wants to pull right without me touching the yoke already I'm actually starting to come off the runway there in fact so there is a bit of a drift problem there I'll take off and show you that in flight so I'm just correcting the line of the uh, runway there so I don't come off the runway Let's take off. I'll put a bit of pitch trim. As you can see, my plane is already, or my aircraft is already starting to tilt to the right without me actually moving it to the right on the rudder. Let's just pitch up a bit there. Pitch trim so I don't crash. But as you can see, look. Oh, that's coming across clearly. The aircraft is automatically, instead of flying straight up in a straight line, as you would expect, you may get a bit of wind blowing you off course sometimes, of course. But this is just drifting to the right. I can correct that. I've got my aileron trim to that button. So I can correct that, but it's a bit messy and it shouldn't be doing that. That's because, like I said, there is a drift problem. I'll jump onto the computer now to show you how we can fix this. Okay, so on my computer now. Now, I've looked on Google for various solutions to that drift problem. The best one I've found is actually, if you go to your control panel, so let's just, there they are, just click on that. You go on your devices and printers in control panel, click there. And then obviously your flight yoke, make sure you have it plugged in. It should be showing there under devices. Right click on that and choose game controller settings. And it should be highlighted here, flight yoke system, go to properties. Typically with game controllers, you will find a calibration tab. This one doesn't have it. You can test the various functions. It seems to be pretty much centered there. Maybe it is slightly to the right, as you can see. But if you go to dead zones here, you can see my ailerons, my left and right axis. It's slightly off kinder. It's not in the center as it should be. So basically what we want to do, these two tabs here, we want to get them to right underneath or right in between we want to get that red line in between these two tabs now if you got clicked left click and hold these you will see it kind of acts a bit weird the way to get these tabs to your red that red marker is where your actual uh, left and right sort of ailerons in this case is centered at the moment to get these markers underneath there we have to right click on them and click on that link dead zones. We want to clear that tick next to it. So I'll show you that again. Right click on the tabs itself. Click link dead zones to uncheck that. And now we can move them one by one. 
and try and centre it exactly where that red line is. You can see it's flickering, or flickering around, so something's not right there. It does correct itself with my flight yacht system sometimes. I can unplug it and plug it back in and it can correct itself. Not always. There's often a drift, the right drift. Once you got that, you can right click on those tabs again and link them again. So you can see I've got it pretty much centered now on that red line and then click apply there. Important to do that. And OK. And now let's head back into the simulator and see if that's had the desired effect. OK, so we're at a different runway, Ikusk. Shouldn't really matter for the results of what I'm going to show you. So now I've adjusted those settings. I'll throttle up again and show you my terrible flying skills. <laughs> One handed, <laughs> so I can be forgiven. But anyway, regardless, back on subject, you can see now I'm not so much drifting to the right. Seems to be staying centre runway. On the centre of the runway, which is good. So that drift seems to have disappeared there. Let's just pitch up, take off. Adjust my pitch trim settings so I can take my hand off the joystick, off the yoke system rather. Hands off. Pretty much level flight. You do have a bit of natural torque with aircraft anyway. And any wind elements will shift your aircraft. But apart from that, you can see I'm not shifting left or right. I'm pretty much saying central there. Doesn't restrict the movement of your yoke neither. I mean, with aviation aircraft like this, you're not going to be zooming far left and far right. You're going to be turning gradually. Doesn't restrict that. So adjusting those settings I showed you before doesn't restrict that. Of course, I'll link you to a video in the top right there on setting up the Logitech Yoke system for Flight Simulator 2020. I adjusted the dead zone and some sensitive uh, areas of the joystick as well, of the Yoke system as well, so that it works well for me. It feels good for me. But as you can see, those drifting problems seem to have gone. So there's one solution. There are other solutions that I search for which include deleting certain registry inputs or registry elements on the computer. That didn't seem to work a lot for some people and it seems to be quite complex. The solution I just showed you does work. I use it and it just puts your aircraft back to where the back to where they should be makes them feel natural and good in flight again so there you go anyway leave your thoughts and comments i'll be interested to know don't forget to leave a like for the video if you liked it and subscribe for more while i mess around trying to kill myself in the aircraft and let's pitch up why is it gone down there that's better i'll see you soon